I'm Izzy DeBlasi. And I'm Emma Holdsworth. We are We're your anchors, and, and the first edition of NDP Live Weekly starts now. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to the first edition of NDP Live Weekly. We're excited to be here, so let's get right to it. The NDP Fall Play is currently going on, so if you haven't seen it already, make sure to buy tickets online for tonight or tomorrow night. The play is called Women of Lockerbie and details the strong bond that a family and community can have. The show starts at 7 and is about an hour long. Come watch it and support your friends. I'm most excited about for our actors to be able to tell this really powerful story. It's a story about how we grieve as a community and how we heal as a community. And that's really important, especially in this time of November, which is our, soul, our um, time of remembrance. It's a time where Catholics come together and we remember those that have passed and um, all of our family that have gone on before us and are in heaven. Coffee House is holding auditions November 9th and 10th in the choir room. If you want to participate and have a talent you would like to share, go audition. The event will be hosted November 17th. If you're planning on singing, please come with a full version of your song and a karaoke track. If you aren't singing, remember to bring any props you'll need. For our ambassadors, open house is coming up this Sunday, November 6th. Make sure to be on campus by 1015 in mass uniform. Please park in the junior lot and check in with Mrs. Lockvader outside the comp. Other students who are working tables will check in with their coach or moderator. The event will wrap up around 2 p.m. Ambassadors will not receive service hours. However, other volunteers will receive three. Eighth grade day is also coming up on November 11th. There will be a mandatory meeting on November 8th in the gym for all non-ambassadors that wish to host eighth graders. You'll need to arrive in spirit dress and jeans, appropriate length shorts, or uniform bottoms at 7.15 a.m. Park in your assigned parking spot and make sure to check in with Mrs. Lockvader outside the gym. If you're performing for eighth grade day, consult with your moderator for the dress code. Pizza will be made available for anyone, and the event will end at 12 noon. All volunteers will receive four service hours. I'll be at both events and can tell you that it's a great way to contribute to Notre Dame and also earn service hours. And now to John for sports. Hey Saints, it's John Glenn. Welcome to this week's Sports Wrap. NDP Varsity football team has had an amazing season this year. They played Skyline last Friday, improving to 6-1. They play Cactus Shadows tonight. Good luck, boys. Our NDP Swim and Dive team is heading to the, state, uh, the States this Friday after having their last Invitational meet October 29th. The Division I hockey team came in with the win against Brophy 5-3. Congrats, boys. Girls Varsity for a Volleyball came in with another win last week against Horizon. However, JV and the freshmen both lost against Horizon. The chess team is going to the regionals with Robert Olson. Good luck, Robert. Cross Country had an invite meet this past week, and the boys placed fourth overall and went to the sectionals this Tuesday. Great job. Good luck to all. This sport, the sports this week as they continue on to the finals in state. And finally, we'd like to give a quick shout out to the sophomore wide receiver, Cooper Perry, who was recently awarded Player of the Week by the Cardinals. Congratulations, Cooper. Back to you, Emma and Izzy, with the Saint of the Week. And now for our favorite segment of the week, Saint of the Week. This week's Saint of the Week is Travis Sullivan. You might not recognize him without the long robe and a cross. Travis is an altar boy during Mass, and he's been serving in his local parish in one way or another since the fourth grade. But what you might not know is that he's also a team captain for eSports, plays in the Jazz Ensemble, and he recently earned his Eagle Scout badge in the Boy Scouts of America organization. Eagle Scouts helps you do that because, you know, in Boy Scouts, they have the thing called the 12-point Scout Law. Each one of those 12 points helps the scout become a better person and they also help to develop leadership skills within the actual scout. You can see the three R's anywhere in scouts. If you just take a small crack and you open up the book of scouting, you could see the three R's very prevalent. And I think 
uh, being in scouting has really helped me grow in the three R's, and the three R's has really helped me grow in scouting. For his Eagle Scout project, Travis built two lost and found chests for his middle school, Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Every time we have a scout meeting, I can go back and where our meeting rooms are, and I can see my two lost and found chests in use. They're filled with lost things, and it makes me happy because they're being used, you know? The lost things aren't out in the rain anymore. They're not out in the scorching sun. They're somewhere protected where their owner can come and find them. Thank you for joining us for our first edition of NDP Live Weekly. And now for our sponsor, Blackrock Coffee Bar. See you next time, Saints!